We've had an earthquake in Portugal today. Earthquakes after quakes all along the Mediterranean Sea area from Portugal, Italy, Greece, and then Turkey all along there today and this week. And we've also had this thing here, the uh, low tide. There is basically no low tide in uh, areas of Greece. And here we have the low tides of Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey. What is going on? Where is all this sea going to? Uh, we have had areas of inflation in Turkey, uh, Greece, and Italy. I posted a video of that yesterday when we looked at geodesy GPS uh, stations. And uh, this is what it looks like again, the low tide in the, in the area of, around Corinth of Greece. There is, there is no low tide. There's no water there. So what is going on? We even have earthquake lights in the area of uh, Syria, just under southern Turkey. Earthquake lights. Here they are. Flashes in the sky. Uh, evidenced by people. This is a, uh, an image from uh, social media of the earthquake lights. So we have a lot of earthquake activity. Let's take a look at the map and see what's going on. That's more Berkeley. And this is our 3.2 10 kilometers, 6 mile deep magnitude in Portugal. And let's go back again, sorry. And this is it right here. And this is what, this is what I wanted to show you, that these are just this week, sir, er, the earthquakes of this week. Um, Portugal right there. It's uh, on a fault line, right? Gibraltar, as we know, is there. This is an area of the fault line. And also this thing here, curving like this. And we've had one here in Italy, 4.5 a few days ago. The other one here in Greece, 4.7 in the Peloponnese. And that's around the area where the sea has resided, receded from Corinth. It's not far, basically. It's what it's 200 miles away. That's it right there. Naphtali on there is where the pictures are from. So that's not even two. It's about 150 miles away. Then we have Crete, 4.7, 6 mile depth. And these are, uh, Latakia is around here where we have all these things going on. This is Turkey, 4.5 today, at 18.5 kilometers depth, which is pretty uh, much lower than the 10 kilometers which we usually have. And this one here, in the Syria-Turkey border, 10 kilometers depth. And uh, this one was... 4.4 in Lebanon, 10 kilometers depth. So, a lot of things going on there. These things are still going on. And there are moderate earthquakes, as we can see. Let's take a look at the map. Aerial, okay. That's it. If we put on the uh, fault lines, there you go. That's the Transjordanian fault. And... Uh, Basically, where the big earthquake took place is right there at the end of it, right there. The 7.8 and then the 7.6. And that's in the area of the uh, uh, Tigris-Euphrates River, rivers. And uh, as you can see, these fault lines go right through the Mediterranean. And this is exactly where most of these uh, earthquakes took place. The uh, 4.7 that we had here. Naphtali on there where the sea receded, uh, the 4.7 that we had here. Uh, Italy, you can see that around uh, Sardinia right here. Sicily, sorry, Sicily. And, of course, the other one around right here. Now, if we go to the 3.2, we'll go to the, there we are, that's it right there. And you can see it basically on the fault lines. All these earthquakes took place on the fault lines. And um, they're still going on. So as we said before, the reports of even in uh, Venice, in Italy, in Venice, where we have, there's Venice, where we've had a lot of reports of the canals going dry, pictures of the canals with their boats on dry uh, riverbeds because the Alps had no snow this winter and it's still winter. It's basically we're at the end of February now 
and uh, the rivers are dry because there was there was not enough snow in the Alps to feed the rivers water. And uh, what's going to happen in the summer, as far as drought in Italy is concerned? It's a very ominous sign of what's to come in the summer. So this water situation of the water leaving the Mediterranean, uh, Venice, uh, Tunisia reports that as well, Italy, Greece, and um, uh, Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, and Jerusalem. Pictures of the beaches receding for uh, many, uh, what, 50 feet, 30 feet into uh, into the sea, where, where is, is, it's lower by 50 feet. Uh, what's happening to the water? And this is why the geologists of Turkey and even Greece are saying that's a very worrying sign. It means that something is happening and they're forecasting, of course, a major, another major quake there and also another major quake around the Istanbul area. And uh, the Greek seismologists are also uh, warning of a, a major quake in Greece. So what's happening? Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you, that we have a lot of activity all along the Mediterranean, as you can see right here. Look at that line. And that's, as we saw before, right around the fault line of the area. Right along here. Okay, and this one here today. Um, and the, the uh, geologists of Portugal say, yes, Lisbon is again, it had a big earthquake around 1750, and they are, they are warning of a bigger quake there again as well, as they are in Istanbul, because it's been about 250 years um, uh, overdue for a uh, major earthquake there as well. So uh, this is what the situation looks like lately, that strange line on the fault line of um, the Mediterranean. Of course, we know that this is caused by the African plate colliding into the Eurasian plate, the Turkey and uh, Eurasia, Asia, uh, Europe, and we saw that from the geodesy that we saw yesterday, we took the readings from Turkey and we saw that it was inflating and that the land uh, was uh, dislocating towards the north uh, east, whereas the islands of the Aegean were going uh, southeast. So this is going northeast and this is going southeast. So what does that mean for Istanbul? I'd like to know. Okay, these are, this area here was moving northeast and these areas here were moving southeast. And we saw that Santorini was inflating. Santorini is uh, the volcanic island. We, all, all this is the volcanic arc of Greece. This is Santorini right there. You can see the caldera from the air. Okay. Thera Santorini, and um, that's inflating as well. So something very strange happening in Europe, and uh, because of the African plate colliding into uh, the uh, Turkish plate, the uh, Anatolia plate, and Europe. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.